Hey! Today we're doing the second experiment with our mouse science kit. We're gonna make some tin trees in this petri dish down here. So, guess we'll just get started right away. <laughs> This experiment is a lot like the last experiment. We take the sodium hydrogen sulfate and the tin chloride and we combine them together and shake well. Once they are in a solution we then pour into a petri dish. The thing is we found that just one solution mix couldn't fill the petri dish and it took two and a half to actually fill it. So that's what we did. The next step is to add a couple of drops of liquid soap. This will then help with the reaction later. Take your battery pack, insert the batteries which are not included, then attach the electrodes. Place on each side of the petri dish and then you're done. Now here's a time lapse of the experiment. You can see from the negative terminal, tin spikes are starting to form and they go all the way across to the positive terminal. But not just in the most direct route, they sort of fork out in all directions. So what's going on here? Well. When two electrodes are placed in the solution, electricity flows from one to the other, from the negative terminal to the positive terminal, the cathode to the anode. Then, the tin in the solution is Sn2+, which means it's got two less electrons than it should, giving it a positive charge. This means it's now attracted to the negative terminal in our solution. Now, once we add two electrons to the tin, the 2 plus tin, it becomes solid and starts to form these spikes. These spikes then form areas of low resistance for the electricity so it can attract more tin and it just spikes out like that. And that's basically what's going on. However, if we leave it in solution for too long, which I've got a short video which I'll show after, uh, the actual, the anode dissolves. Like the, the, the crocodile clip that was in, in the solution just it dissolved on one side. So watch out for that. Make sure you got your safety gloves on. A big thanks for watching the video. A big thanks to Mel Science for providing the science kits. Next time we're going to look at one of their other kits, which is the Chemistry of Monsters, which has two more experiments in to do with, you know, fire and all the good stuff that makes science great. Another video that we're going to do is look at some thermite and then hopefully if I can get it to work we're going to look at some black powder as well, but I don't know, I don't know. Well, you know what to do, like, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do. I'll see you in the next one.